Cheesecake is a great summertime treat, especially as it's starting to get hot and you don't want to bake. There's this wonderful thing called no bake cheesecake. So it won't heat up your house and you're going to get the great flavors of cheesecake. This one also has some yogurt in it, so that is going to lighten it up a little bit and get us some more healthy dairy in rather than the heavy fat. Also going to be using the Neufchatel um, reduced fat, kind of cream cheese, and that's gonna also save us some calories too. So it's gonna turn out really nice and tasty and it has a nice and pretty 4th of July color theme. So it'll be lots of fun. We'll go ahead and get started. Our no bake cheesecake is going to have a graham cracker crust. So to do that, we're going to take one and a half sleeves or about seven ounces of graham crackers. I've toasted some pecans in the toaster oven. So they're going to add a nice flavor to our crust. This is about half a cup. I'm just going to add those to the food processor. And a quarter teaspoon of salt. Now we'll close up our processor and pulse this a few times until it gets to be a finer crumb. And then we'll pour in slowly a third of a cup of canola oil. looks pretty fine so we'll start adding in our oil. So we'll take our, our crust out of the food processor and put it into our 9 by 13 baking pan. And we'll set our food processor to the side because we'll be using it again for our filling. Okay, now press, press in your crust into a nice even layer. Okay, our crust is in, looks good. We'll move on to our cheesecake filling. At this point, if you wanted to, you could go ahead and clean out your food processor bowl. It's really relatively clean, so I'm just going to move on to the next step. Just two 8 ounce bars of cream cheese or Neuchatel, two cups of Greek yogurt, a teaspoon of lemon zest, or about the zest of one small lemon and a tablespoon of lemon juice, or I'm gonna say about the juice of one small lemon, and two thirds cup confectioner sugar. And now we'll pulse to combine. Until nice and creamy. Now that this is all nice and combined, we will spread it out on our crust. And to do so, we're just going to kind of glop it on and then we'll come back and spread it out. Okay, now that this is on here, we're just going to gently spread it out so that we don't disturb our graham cracker crust. Mix it in. And then we'll put this in the fridge for a couple hours and then we can add some fruit and serve it.